Good day and welcome to our first e-learning module focused on 202 Peak Lane Service Residences. Module 1 will focus on the basics of real estate as an investment as well as a primer on Davao. Let's get started. The term passive income is a widely used word in all kinds of investments, including real estate. But how do we position real estate as an investment? Similar to other forms of investments, real estate has its advantages and disadvantages. Let's take a look at the advantages first. Real estate provides an attractive and stable income return, which can be realized through rental income and value appreciation over the long term. Real estate is a highly tangible asset. Unlike paper investments like stocks or bonds, real estate is something you can feel, see, or touch. It likewise supports the strategy of portfolio diversification by combining real estate with a variety of assets to reduce the overall risk of an investment. As the old saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Finally, real estate provides a way of inflation hedging. And as economies expand, the demand for real estate drives rents higher, and this in turn translates into higher capital values. Let's now take a look at the disadvantages of real estate as an investment. The value appreciation of real estate varies depending on a lot of factors, including the area or location of the property, economic progress or lack thereof that might cause depreciation in value of the property over time. Real estate requires a lot of research, time, and effort for both buyers and sellers. Nowadays, buyers realize that a property worth investing in takes considerable amount of effort and time. Sellers should also do the same to anticipate possible objections of buyers. Since real estate is a tangible asset, it requires maintenance and upkeep. And finally, it may take time to achieve ROI as a lot of factors come to play that may not be controllable, like property value appreciation rates, taxes, insurance, operational expenditure, including other drivers, especially for those in the rental market, like influx of tourism and rental rates. Compared to other areas in Mindanao, Davao has a significant advantage due to its robust tourism and hospitality climate. In fact, Year on year, Davao continues to be one of the top tourist destinations in the country and has been developed as a prime venue for meetings, incentives, conventions, and exhibitions. This led to an increased demand for alternative accommodations from different types of travelers, including those who travel for business and leisure. But while the annual growth of tourism remains strong, growth in the hotel sector hasn't been able to keep up. From 2018 to 2019, we saw an 18% growth in Davao's daily visitor account, and this is estimated to continue to grow in the next years. This growth in the number of daily visitor account has led to a strong demand for accommodations, which the hotel sector hasn't been able to fill completely. Clearly, there's a supply and demand gap, which gives investors the opportunity to earn passive income. Because of Davao's strong tourism sector, as well as the supply and demand gap in accommodations, the rental market in Davao is truly a sustainable means for passive income. 